All right, making a quick video. My uh, phone's about to die. I forgot to put on the charger. Anyway, we had this guy in our group who was like really suicidal and saying all kinds of crazy things. I don't know what it was, but uh, he, he finally came around. He finally came around. I don't know. He, it's just, he, he's not the type of person just to like, just to lie in the chat. You know what I mean? He's not just gonna be like, oh, I'm better now, right? And just lie about it. Like he's literally like posting positive stuff now. He apologized to everybody. I think he's just, go I think he was going through something and he was just like ready to give up. But we all like hounded him. Like we were all on his ass. Like, bro, like quit saying that shit. Like we're not here to like listen to you complain. If you have questions, we will answer your questions. Um. Like, bro, like, it's just not cool, you know? Like, we were just on his ass because he kept, like, posting negative shit. And then, like, I reached out and was like, hey, bro, what's going on? And then he's like, man, he, he didn't even tell me what was going on. He's like, this is just how I feel. And then the whole group chat was, like, on his ass still. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe he, I mean, he's, obviously he's got a lot of time. No job, no car, nothing. Right? So he must have found the answers he was looking for. Got that little spark of motivation. Like, when you're in a dark spot, like, bro, you're stuck in a dark spot for what feels like eternity, and it's hard to get out of it. But, I mean, once you start, like, looking for answers and you, like, find something that clicks, plus you have that, like, accountability group that we're, like, we're all in. Bro, what? I'm glad that that switch had flipped in them. I mean, it's, at first, it's very depressing, but once you start, once you get past that little, like, sad, depressed part where it, where it hurts the most... And then you start to finally get answers and you notice that you do have a support team and we're like, we're not hounding him, like like talking bad to him or on to him, talking down to him. It's just like, bro, you gotta fucking like boot up, like strap your boots on, like let's, let's get to work. Like you have, you have questions, we have answers. We've all been through it, right? Cause like that group took a bunch of guys who've been through like a lot of pain in their life. And like, we've all had, we do like phone calls and stuff like that. But I'm just so happy that he finally like found that click. And it takes a while, it takes you to go in through that like dark, that dark time, that dark moment. Cause like, bro, you, either you're gonna make it or you won't, you know what I mean? Either you're gonna pull through or you won't. Like I've had people not pull through and, and I've had a lot of people pull through. And uh, yeah, I just wanna make this video cause like I'm just happy for him right now. Like it's just so good to see that. So I think one thing that guys have to learn to get used to which I'm currently going through is being alone, being by yourself. So, oh boy's most likely no job, no car. He's he says he's he was ugly. He gets no bitches. Blah blah blah. Like that's like his like his go-to line. Well, I'm out of relationship. I'm single. I just moved in with a buddy of mine. We have two separate schedules, so I hardly see him. My best friend, he lives with uh, his girl now. So. I mean, I don't really talk to anybody else. I mean, I do have like a friend group, but like our schedules are so off course, like like so different from each other. It's hard to like, we have to plan stuff out. I mean, like it's months ahead of time that we have to plan stuff out to go and spend time together. But like I have to wake up alone, go to bed alone, eat alone. I go to the gym alone. Like I go grocery shopping by myself. I do almost every single thing by myself. And that's like the sacrifice you're gonna have to make if you wanna be like a 1% guy, right? I say 1%, but like obviously, wow, very beautiful. Obviously 1% of the top men in the world make over $400,000. Well, they just don't wake up overnight with $400,000 per year plus right there's a grind there's a hustle there's sacrifices that are going to be made like i'm like driving home to get my my work stuff my work gear get it all set up and now i'm at the gym and like the whole time i'm thinking i'm like dude big body lobby is like a machine and i feel like i'm not putting enough attention into it obviously my mind's a little bit everywhere it's like the christmas holiday my family's out of town i kind of spent the night alone um, yesterday we went and actually seen some family, which was nice and um, Just really had a good time. But now I'm like thinking like okay Christmas is over right New Year's is coming up We do have plans. I do have a Christmas party, but it's like I feel like I've been 
the situation that I just got out of and I'm getting into, it's like I've been putting Big Body Lobby off, right? And uh, I need to I need to jump on that and I need to build something instead of like trying to fill my my free time with things that aren't that important that are just like things that are involved in the now. Like I I just got invited to go out, so I went out. And that took me like two days to recover. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, cause I don't ever go out. And now I'm like, my body was like shimbling and tracking. Like my lips are still chapped from like two nights ago. Cause I was so dehydrated. And I don't even feel like I drank that much, but still like I have to start choosing better. Like on the weekends, like I have this whole week off, but I was like, you know what? Like I don't have really much going on. I could use the more, I could use the money. So I'm going to go in on overtime and get some overtime pay, which is really good pay. Right, and then I just feel like I need to start slowly, gradually building my habits back up by being alone. Because for a while there, I wasn't alone. But now that I'm back here, it's like I'm not gonna freak out and be all weird about it, but it's like I need to get used to it again. Start building back up that, that mentality of like, okay, I'm gonna be alone. I'm gonna have a lot more time to think to myself now instead of giving my attention out. I have to like like I gotta want it more than I want airs. Like I want to get shredded. Like I want to have that aesthetic look, right? And like if I'm gonna be the face of Big Body Lobby, like I gotta show people that like I do work out. Like I am big body, and right now I am a big body. Like I have like I'm I'm massive right now. I carry the most mass of muscle mass I've ever carried in my life. But it's like when the summer comes up, like I want to see. Okay, in the fall and winter, yeah, I did do a bulk. Okay, but like, let's let's see the work that I put in. Now I got to cut, right? And now I got to be disciplined, right? And I have to do the same thing with my body, my mind, big body lobby. I want to, like right now, it's just like a t-shirt that says big body lobby on it, right? And, and I want to change that into like, maybe like supplements and then start to like sponsor athletes and like hold events and stuff like that. Like I want to do cool stuff with it, right? I want to, I want to expand this machine that I'm building and build it up, right? But I have to get used to being by myself and using all of my time and energy that I have on that instead of just like scrolling on TikTok or Tinder or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. So it's okay to be alone, guys. Don't, don't freak out. Mm. I'm here at the gym now. I got about two and a half hours before I have to take off and get to work basically two hours. I'm gonna go in here and do a quick lift. I think I'm gonna do chest, back tomorrow, legs after that. And uh, start with compound, lift heavy, and then do a couple accessories and then hit the hit the uh, cardio machine. So I think I'm gonna do Stairmaster for 15 and then walk the rest at a quick pace. Compound interest, day in, day out, day in, day out. I gotta want it, man. I gotta start. I gotta have that mentality again, boys. This last weekend with the whole Christmas and going out thing, it threw me for a loop, man. I was like, damn. Everybody was so chill about it. I was like, I don't know how y'all function like this. Anyway, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. I actually get to like start to build my my uh, routines alone now. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of free time and I'm gonna do a lot of cool stuff. And um, yeah, man. I'm excited. It's okay to be alone, guys. Uh, just find a group of people, even if it's online, that you can have in like a group chat. You guys can do like uh, FaceTime calls or Skype calls or, or whatever. Um, build like good influences around you. Go to the gym. You'll find a lot of successful people there you can be in touch with. Just uh, be on your grind. Remember what you're grinding for, man. Like, like a lot of guys, like I don't know what my purpose is. I'm lost. You are your purpose. You are your purpose. When you start working on yourself, everything will start to click and you'll know what to do. It, when you neglect your, your well-being, you're neglecting everything that you could build. The, you, there's a, so many possibilities in this world that you're neglecting when you don't take care of yourself. Your well-being comes first. A lot, you see a lot of people like, I feel happy when I make other people happy. Like, how does that make sense? How does that make sense? It's okay to serve others. Yes, it is okay to serve others, but you need to be selfish and build yourself up. Become somebody, have some income coming in because 
yes, dude, money helps. How are you going to help somebody if you don't have money? You know what I mean? A lot of people need financial security and financial help because yes, we can give our time and our energy and we need, and people like to have somebody to talk to, be a good listener. But this world, these times, we have to financially be stable enough to help others, okay? That's just the reality of it. And I always say this, to be blessed is to bless others. So we gotta build ourselves, build our empires, build our machines. That way we have something that inevitably, later on down the road, is gonna be able to, like, to give back and feed into the community. It just, it just, it makes sense. So it's okay to be selfish in a way where you're building yourself up first. Because, you know, I, it's, I, people say, I'm happy when I make other people happy, but you're not doing it in the correct way, right? Think about that. <clears throat> when you go out and give people time and energy, but like at the end of the day, it's like those people don't reciprocate that back and they don't appreciate that. So that's what we got to work on, guys. <clears throat> you get a long time, bro. Put the time in. All right, that's the video for the day. I'm going to go in here and jump in this gym, <laughs> jumping in the gym, jumping out the gym. We're going to get swole, get fake. Uh, get shredded. I'm excited. Um, it was actually a short video. So appreciate you guys for tuning in for the very few of you guys. I love you guys so much. I want to see everybody win. So uh, catch you guys in the next video.